Welcome to CivilNet. My guests today are Michael Kizirian and Nazareth Ashkarian. They are both working with NASA. Uh, Dr. Kizirian is a professor at University of Southern California where he teaches space safety course and um, in the Department of Astronautical Engineering. And um, Nazareth Ashkarian is an engineer for NASA. Welcome both of you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Great. You wish to see Armenian students to participate in International Space Settlement Design competition held in the UK. What's the potential you see here in Armenia? Who wants to try first? Yes. <laughs> um, we had a great visit to the TUMO Center on Friday where we met students and discussed with them about the NASA programs that we support and we also introduced them to the concept of the International Space Settlement Design Competition. This program was designed 25 years ago to introduce students to the difficulties in exploring other planets and the complexities of designing complex missions as a way to educate them and teach them about the difficult priorities that are necessary. These, they, we've set, settled we've started an international design competition and we would like the Armenian students to be part of this program. And uh, with all of the intellectual capital here in Armenia, we think that the students have a lot of potential to bring growth and technology innovation out of Armenia. How did the, the students welcome your project? Uh, the students were unbelievable at TUMO. They were very curious and their, uh, like I said, their intellectual curiosity for the, the STEM fields of science, technology, engineering, and math was uh, unparalleled in not only here, but everywhere else in the world. The, the students are well prepared um, for uh, the kind of innovation and uh, progression that uh, I think Armenia is going to uh, start. Were there students interested in the project and that wants to push it? Yeah, so uh, we presented some, like Dr. Kazarian said, some of the uh, current projects that NASA is doing and uh, just uh, to influence them and kind of bring some of their intellectual curiosity out and the students welcomed it and were asking all sorts of questions during and after and uh, they were very excited and it also in part made us excited to bring that information to them. The students were very well informed about the international projects that were currently underway and understood many of the technical issues that would be applied to some of the programs that are being proposed going forward. So they were both well informed and knowledgeable about the technical issues. I think they will have an excellent opportunity to participate and interact with students from other schools, from other universities. They'll have an excellent opportunity to interact with students from other schools and from other countries as they participate in this competition. You know, future space exploration will involve countries working together much like they do on the International Space Station to go to the moon and build a permanent settlement to go to Mars will require a, a bringing together of ideas and resources and this competition simulates that interaction, that cooperation. All right, a more personal question related more to being Armenian. You both are part of the diaspora, Armenian diaspora, and you're um, Armenian Americans. What, con what connects you to this country, to Armenia? Uh, my parents uh, were born in Armenia and I was the first generation born in America and I had the great opportunity of being forced to go to our Armenian school and got to learn the language and be involved in the culture very early and I got to visit when I was a little bit younger but I didn't remember much of that visit and uh, coming back uh, it's, it's always a, a sense of being back home. What about you? Yes. Well, my parents and some of my grandparents were born in the United States, but we grew up with a strong connection to our Armenian heritage through the Armenian church and the emphasis on family, on education, and this is an opportunity to develop that connection even further. I've been looking for the right opportunity and the appropriate opportunity to interact with students here, and I think this is the right um, time and the right 
uh, product program that I can help introduce based on my uh, background and skill set. Um, the other question is related to clean energy. So you, as from what I read, uh, you are taking technology from your work on NASA programs and applying it to uh, problems related to energy. Uh, what are the issues related to energy right now? And also what consequences have uh, this energy on, our, uh, on the environment? Um, energy is an important issue. Uh, that will drive uh, the world economy. Um, my colleagues and I have taken some of our concepts that we have been focusing on on NASA programs and are applying them to the sustainable safety and economical production of natural gas from deep ocean reserves. We feel that this will make a significant difference in the carbon emissions as we go to produce and meet the needs of energy for the world and also probably bring down prices worldwide for natural gas. After nuclear energy, natural gas is the cleanest and most efficient and if we can find ways to produce them more efficiently and with a better impact on our environment, then we will all be better served. All right, and I know we don't have any ocean, but how could this uh, clean energy be applied to Armenia? Well, actually, I have been speaking with researchers at the Yerevan State University and the American University of Armenia for p potentially collaborating on this production technique, but also in terms of the global economy, this has a way to bring prices down for natural gas here in Armenia. So there is some hope for a cleaner energy. Now. I hope so too. Right. Okay, thank you both of you for the talk. Thank you for watching us and continue to follow us on civilnet.am.